Hey everybody, welcome back to Thinking of Pi. Today I'll be giving you a brief introduction to pulse width modulation, or PWM for short. I'll be talking about what it is, how it works, and why it's important. To do this, I'll be using the exact same circuit that we used in the blinking LED project, but we'll be doing some different things in Python to make it do some different things. So let's go check it out. All right, so here we are logged into the Pi through our trusty VNC app. I've got our Python code up, and we're going to be using GPIO0, but instead of using the LED functions, we're going to be using PWM LED. Uh, very similar. Um, we've got our LED defined as PWM LED on pin 17, and I'll talk about this frequency thing here in just a little bit. And then we're just going to have our function here to tell the LED what to do. We're going to do LED.pulse. And these two parameters are telling it how long to stay on. Or not how long to stay on, but how long it takes to come on, and then how long it takes to go off. So the LED is going to be pulsing like it's breathing or something. So let's run this and see what it does. There it goes. Pretty cool, huh? Now, there's a couple different things that are going on here. Um, we're going to be talking about the duty cycle and the pulse width. The pulse width is kind of like digital. It's going to be sending a 1 or a 0, but it's how long is it going to be in that state. The uh, duty cycle is more or less the inferred voltage. The Pi is still sending 3.3 volts to that LED but if it's doing it more often then it implies a higher voltage than if it's doing it less often then it's a lower voltage which makes the LED appear dimmer so if I wanted to change this to say five seconds it'll slow that down because the pulses are longer not necessarily the pulses are longer but it's just stretching it out a bit Now, the frequency is going to be how fast it's going through this whole process. So if we want to slow that down to 1 hertz, by default it's at 100, but we turn it down to 1, you'll see the LED blinking erratically. And that's what it's doing when it's going faster. It's just going so fast that our brains can't comprehend it blinking that fast still blinking right now it's just blink blinking so fast we can't comprehend it just about every electronic device that we interact with every day is going to use some form of PWM going forward with all of our projects we're going to be elaborating more and more on this PWM eventually we're going to be talking about PWM inputs um, for example if you wanted to have a thermometer a digital signal is not going to work very well when you've got X number of degrees between A and B. You can warm up the temperature from 0 to 100, but you can't go directly from 0 directly to 100. There's going to be some transition period there, which is where PWM becomes important. Now with the LED, I do have the GPIO0 documentation right here. Uh, feel free to check that out. It's got a lot of the same functions as the um, the LED class, but some of these have different parameters, like with blink, you can tell it to fade. Um, you can tell how many times. Um, but of course, make it blink. Why not? Uh, next time, we'll be looking at a RGB LED and elaborating more on some of these principles with PWM. I think it's going to be a lot a lot easier to see when we start looking at the RGB LED. If you don't know what that is, check it out. It's going to be pretty cool next week. Um, but until then, um, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Um, like this video. I'd love to hear your comments. Uh, but until next time, I'll talk to you later.